Hey guys, welcome to part one of our new series, Identity. Today I want to look at what, how do we define the word identity? Like what are we thinking about when we think about identity? And I think most of us would agree that when we talk about it out with our friends or uh, when we just think about it kind of regularly, our identity should be, I think what we think it should be in who we are. And I think we almost always answer the question in terms of what we do. And, and I want to go a little deeper than that. It's not just that we answer the question in terms of what we do. It's like we find our fulfillment or our satisfaction. We find our own answer to the question of our personal identity in what we do and what we achieve and you know how good we are at something and how we compare ourselves to somebody else. It's not so much in who we are. Now, I think if it was a test... Right. If we went and sat down, we went back to school and we we sat down in one of those chairs that has the desk like attached to it. Right. We had our, our number two pencil and eraser and there was a test and it says, is your identity based in who you are or what you do? Now, if it was an essay, we might go at it and try to explain how it's both a little bit of both. But if it was multiple choice, I think we'd have to pick who we are. But then you go out the doors of the school and you've got to live life, you know, throughout the day or you've got to live life after you graduate from school. And even though you put on the test who you are, we live in our minds, you know, that identity is what we do. And it's not just about living that way and based off of that belief, you know, while while the sun's shining and while we're interacting with people and we're doing our work and our ministry and things like that with our family. It's it's when we get in bed at night and put our head on the pillow and we evaluate our day and we go, did I have a good day or a bad day? Like, did, did I, did I fulfill my identity or not? Did I, did I, did I show well, you know, it's almost like we're like a a show dog or a show pony or something like that. You know, did, did I reflect myself well in the things that I did. That's not completely wrong. I mean, it's not, not completely bad to evaluate and, you know, and want to be better. But what I'm saying is instead, should we maybe be getting in bed and putting our head down and, say, and being grateful and, and just not even questioning identity in terms of achievement, but knowing identity is who we are. And it's not about something that can be achieved or not in terms of what we do. So I, I've spent you know now two and a half minutes on, on that. Let me then dive into, I, you know, obviously I believe that identity is who we are. And I believe that chapter three in Philippians digs into this in the first half in verses one through 11, where Paul says, if anybody, he essentially says, if anybody had a great identity in our society, it was me. You know, he said, you know, I was circumcised on the eighth day. I'm a pure blood citizen of Israel, a tri- member of the tribe of Benjamin, you know, a real Hebrew, if there ever was one. I was a member of the Pharisees, who um, the strictest obedience to the Jewish law. I was so zealous. I persecuted the church. I mean, he, he's like, look, if you want to measure this in terms of what I've done, then nobody can beat me. Nobody can have a better identity than me. But then you guys know the verse, you know, the verses, the famous verses 7 through 11, where he says, I once thought doing all those things was valuable. But now I consider them worthless. He says, yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of just knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I've discarded everything else, counting it as garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. The thing I want to dig into there is, of course, we know that the life he was living was not a valuable life because he was missing the Messiah. But it's not just that. It's also that he's contrasting what he was doing with the things he was accomplishing, you know, going out and persecuting the church, becoming a Pharisee, achieving different things, and saying, I, I used to find my identity in the things I did. Now I'm finding my identity in the relationship that I have with God, in who I am, and the way that we connect. And in part two, we're going to talk about the uniqueness of how we connect with God and our identity being very much in that uniqueness of who we are. But in this part, I just want to just put it out there that every day, and I struggle with this I don't struggle with this every day anymore, praise God, but I still struggle with it certainly at times where I just say, man, I'm not in the same position in my company as somebody else. And shouldn't I be at this point? Or I don't, you know, I don't have as much money as somebody else, or I wish I, you know, had just a little bit more money. So I was a little bit more comfortable and sure of the future. Um, Or I wish in my ministry, there was more people watching my videos or, you know, I I was getting to speak more or 
Um, you know, what, whatever it might be for you. I mean, it might be, I wish I was married and I'm not married or I wish I had kids and I don't have kids or I wish my kids were nice kids and not mean kids, you know, or whatever it might be. And I have found for me, and maybe you find for you that I'm almost always evaluating myself, my self-worth, my valuableness, and therefore my identity in what I do and what I achieve and the accomplishments on the score on the scoreboard, you know, what it says at the end of the game. And at the end of the day, that none of that, none of that determines identity. None of that determines who I am. Okay. That actions are important. Results are important. Those things matter. Okay. We should, we should measure them. We should want to get better, but they are who we are. We cannot measure worth on those things that, that we do or try to accomplish. We've got to measure it in what Paul says in verse nine. Is it eight or nine? And it was nine. It says, and become one with him. Everything is garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. He says, I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. And I believe in that. He was not at all saying, you know what my identity is? I want to die just like he died, and I want to you know, come back from the dead in my physical body. No. And, he, and Paul did not come back from the dead in his physical body. What he was saying is, I want to die to myself my identity is that I'm now one with Christ. My identity is my relationship with God, right? And, and so I just want to encourage us as we start this, let's, let's set the foundation and the ground level that identity is who we are and whose we are and that relationship that we have with him. And we're never going to find joy and identity in anything we do. Things that we do will come out of who we are. Certainly we will do things, but that's not where identity lies. It's not where valuable, where worth lies or, or, or feeling valuable at all. So let's start with that and I'm looking forward to a great series on identity. Thanks guys.